Did you know there's different types of angles? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's get into it. Doodly doodle, doodly doodle, doodly doodles and digits. Area symmetry fractions too. It's all here for you. When we talk about angles, we are going to measure with something called a protractor. Based on what those measurements are, you can classify angles into five different types. Those types are acute, obtuse, right, straight, and reflex angles. So what you're going to do is when you find an angle, you're going to measure that angle, and sometimes you can measure it by just looking and estimating with your eyes. Let's go over those five types. Let's start with an acute angle. Here's a few examples of acute angles. All right, what do you notice? What's similar and what's different? What do all of these angles have in common? That's right, they have a smaller angle. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees when you measure them. All right, what about the next type? Now we have an obtuse angle. Here's a few examples of some obtuse angles. Let's try it again. What's similar? What do you notice? Yeah, you might have noticed that they all have larger angles or more degrees. All obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. All right, the next type is right angles. All right, let's take a look at these. What do you notice about these angles? How are they similar? And how are they different? That's right. Right angles are exactly 90 degrees. I always like to tell students they're like the edge of a piece of paper and they look like a perfect corner and many students are super familiar with this. Next is straight. What are straight angles? What do you notice? What's similar and what's different? Straight angles are exactly 180 degrees. So they are a flat line. The last type of angle is reflex angle. Let's try it again. What's similar? What do you notice? A reflex angle is any angle that is larger than a straight angle and goes from 180 all the way to 360 degrees. All right, let's try a few where you try to figure out what type of angle it is. How many can you get correct? What about this one? If you said right, you are correct. All right, how about this one? Acute, great. All right, what about this angle? Awesome. All right, so these ones are pretty easy to just look at and be able to classify. But what do you do if you find an angle that when you look at it, you're not really sure what it should be classified as? Well, that's where the protractor comes in handy. A protractor can measure the exact degree. So let's look at this one right here. This angle, when you look at it, you might not be completely sure what measurement it is. But we use an exact tool like a protractor to make sure we're classifying it correctly. Have questions? Feel free to go to doodleslearning.com to learn more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all the latest ways to make math visual.